It's one of our fourth best seasons on record and uh, we're anticipating about 4,500 uh, spiny softshell hatchlings to emerge from eggs, uh, about 275 eggs worth of, of uh, hatchlings that we hope to um, see emerge. And we also uh, incubate eggs of a number of other species, uh, northern map turtle, snapping turtle, painted turtle, uh, and we also assist other conservation authorities whenever possible. So uh, we've had uh, you know, tremendous success this year and the, the drought in June, the extreme heat uh, made it a little tricky and as July started we ended up getting flooding due to excessive rains. So if we did not remove these eggs from the wild we would end up with very few or zero uh, hatch success. Instead uh, we're going to have, like I said, four to uh, um, 4,500 uh, hatchlings emerge. When we used to put protective cages around nests many years ago, we were getting between 17 and maybe 60% hatch success. Once we started bringing them back to our incubators, we would get between 89 and 96% hatch success. So we're able to get the animals to the most vulnerable stage, which is the egg stage, uh, and you know, hatch and release back into the wild. As we progress each year and, and have good success each year with our spiny softshell turtle uh, recovery program, we also incubate the eggs of a number of other species. And because we do bring in large numbers of eggs, not all of the turtles will hatch out normally. Uh, some will have uh, odd um, shapes or additional limbs. And in the case of uh, the map turtle that we have here today, it ended up with two heads. And it's very rare for one of those to hatch out with, with uh, two heads. Uh, the Life expectancy is probably not very good for that map turtle. We also had happen this year is we had, um, I think we're actually up to six albino snapping turtles that have hatched out. Turtles in general are one of the most at-risk groups of animals on the planet. Uh, 50 to 60 percent of all turtles globally are listed as at risk and they don't do well with humans. Unfortunately, uh, their biology ecology uh, means that they do not adapt well to having humans nearby. So uh, it's happened uh, over and over again that humans have caused the decline of these turtles, now it's time for humans to, uh, I guess, give back.